like there was that sick short at the beginning where they all went on vacation. You mean Pikachu's vacation? Yeah, it was awesome. That was just cool. there was like a snubble in there. There was Don Fan. Oh wait, no, Don Fan was the one that was that actually was in the movie proper yeah. at the very beginning. Yeah. There was Snubble and Meryl. AKA up until that point, Pika Blue. Remember Pika Blue? Um vaguely. I never called it that. It was well no, that's what people called it. Right. That was just the name for it. It was that people would see m pictures of Meryl somewhere and like just somehow it got described as Pikachu but it's blue with a ball at the end of its tail and so everyone called it Pika Blue for I was like the mysterious Pika Blue. It was so dumb. And I remember like my friend told me it's like I saw a picture of it, it looks just like Pikachu, but it's blue. And then I finally saw Meryl, I'm like, that doesn't look anything like Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu is an electric mouse, and, and Meryl is a water mouse. So, what do I give a shit? Check out my sweet car. Check out my sweet car. You're not checking out my sweet car. I see it, it's pretty cool. Somebody's saying that Pika Blue is actually Meryl's Japanese name. Really? Yeah. No way. That's what some dude said, but how, like... 50% chance that he's lying. He's right? lying. He's either lying or telling the truth. Lying through his teeth. Yeah, remember missing no. Yeah, of course we remember missing no. No, no, please remind me. What was missing yeah. no? I only wrote the article on Giant Bomb, you son of a bitch. Until somebody edited it and ruined it. Yeah, it's not really mine anymore, but it was at some point. How dare you not know that I wrote the article on Giant Bomb missing no? Someone, I am appalled. Someone else said Meryl's Japanese name is Meryl, which makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> he says he looked it up, and I believe him more. Um. Man. What's up? I'm trying to find... Are you done with Blast Core? No, I'm, no what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to complete this level. There's... One more building. Oh, and there's some more lighty things that I didn't light up. Who's she? What do you said? She? Huh? Oh, oh, it's you. Okay, it's Emily. What? Eating on the apples. What, I didn't look at the name. I just saw about a long who? Thing. What? What are you talking about? Uh, that is who looked up that it's Meryl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a chat. I'm not looking anything up. They they answer the questions. <laughs> How are we still above a hundred viewers? Who's watching this? Alright, I think I uh, probably could. I, w I wanted to complete this level, but I don't know. Somebody said use use J-Dude to fly to your upper right. Fly to my upper right. Now I gotta go back to the J-Bomb. To the J-Bomb. What was I gonna play next? I don't even remember. I had it planned out and then I didn't. Pokemon no Snap? Point. No. Um. Hotline something? Hotline Miami. I wanted to play. I didn't want to play it immediately. Yeah, whatever. Alright, that's enough of this. Someone said Halo 4. I want to play Halo 4. Do it. Play it. I'll play Hotline Miami first. Who even cares? I also wanted to play Maya's Motto. Oh yeah, you did mention that at some point. What is what is Maya's mana? So it's like it's like you're a guy on an island, you have a disease, and you need to like research all the plants on the island to like try to make a thing to heal yourself, to cure yourself of the disease. Okay. And there's like this monster that is like stalking you, and apparently it's like when you get low on some kind of thing that you need to keep high to stay healthy or something that monster will st show up and confront you or whatever but the majority of it from what I understand is like you're just trying to navigate this island but like they don't give you like a traditional map like they give you like this map and the map only fills out when you like try when you find landmarks and then triangulate that position with other landmarks so you have to like mm -hmm. find three landmarks and then it'll fill in that space in the map it seemed kind of interesting that seems kind of cool but I'm gonna check out Hotline Miami Somebody just said, what the hell is Tony Chicago? Alright, I'm just gonna read a 
I'm just gonna read one right now. Okay. I'll go with the 50 cent one. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because that's right. the first one we read, and we were, cap right. we were <laughs> so, captivated. Tony, so, Tony Chicago is nothing more than a GameSpot user account. Oh, does Jesus Balls know about Tony Chicago? He said, just the greatest person ever, and then said yes. Well, we said it at some point. We were like, GameSpot oh, we Tony Chicago. Oh, we So... Okay, so the the way we found it was one day Kai was like, "Hey man, we should search for bad games and no, read all the good user reviews." It was like people are stupid. It was specifically Fifty Cent Bulletproof. I was like, "Who liked this game?" So I went to the user reviews and found one, and uh, I'll I'll read it for you now. Hold on. Yeah. Uh... Wait, I want I want to read some when you're done. Okay. Because I love to read them. You can read the second one because the thing was the first delight was reading the initial review and right. then and then and, and then, then the, the pattern. <laughs> it was the pattern that really got to me. Hold on. I think we've read these so much that I think we've gotten really good at reading. I them. think we've read all of them. <laughs> yeah, we. I I know that I personally read every single Tony Stark. Uh, but he has and, retired. All and right. Journal entry. Well, his his score was higher than I remembered. All right, this is Tony Chicago GameSpot user review for 50 Cent Bulletproof for the PlayStation 2. Uh, 9 out of 10. Superb. Gameplay 10. Gameplay 9. Graphics 10. Sound 10. Value 7. Tilt 9. Difficulty easy. Learning curve 0 to 30 minutes. Time spent 2 to 40 a 20 to 40 hours. The bottom line, masterpiece. Oh, man. Here's our tag. I love this game. It's a great game. Love the soundtrack. If need a higher rating, it's for sure of the best games 2005. <laughs> oh man, this is so short. Yeah, that's definitely a shorter one. Uh, <laughs> he must have shortened this, did he not? No, no, that one. Okay. Good game, I think maybe not everyone, but why do I care? At least I like that all what matters. It doesn't have the best graphics, but whatever, it's tons of fun. Good soundtrack, I think it's worth every penny you pay, that's what I think. It's I love this game, it has good guns, not much of a story, but what it's fun killing someone in the game. It's nice that you can watch music videos and listen to good rap. That should make 50 Cent Bulletproof 2 and I would be the first person to play it. <laughs> <laughs> that this one I don't think follows the typical pattern, right? No, no, no. That's 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 why it was so strange when we started to notice the pattern because the first one didn't have that. All right, so we found that and we were like, oh man, we should we should see if there's any more of these, and there there were so many more. Uh, Tony Chicago. I want to go to all reviews. Where are all reviews? Okay, see all. Oh, I totally forgot about the UFC thing. Okay, wow. that's last. Hey, can you switch to the camera? Mm-hmm. I'm like, back myself into the corner with this shit. All right, how about Metal Gear Solid 3? How about his review for Metal Gear Solid 3? Absolutely. All right. Great game, worthy game in the series, pretty good graphics. You should check out this game out. 
Gameplay 10, graphics 10, sound 10, volume 10, tilt 10. I think I know my passwords. Great game, you know what I mean. Tons of fun, you know what I mean. Worth every penny that you pay. It's a worthy game in the series, you know what I mean. This game has a very good graphics. It's pretty good, great story. You can just fall in love with this game, you know what I mean. Gameplay is great in this game. Two sound is great, but the game does get on a slow start, you know what I mean. I would say this game is in the top 13 best games of all time, you know what I mean. No way! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> top, top 13. This was okay. So somebody early, someone earlier asked us what our opinions of Kotor one and two were. We can we can find out. Tony Chicago he reviewed both of them. Please, yeah. Uh, Star Wars: Natural Republic nine point six. This game is great fun. It's also one of the best Star Wars games yet. Great game, tons of fun, worth every penny you pay. Great gameplay, great sound. It's also cheap. You know what I mean. This game is so solid, amazingly. It's also one of the best Tar Wars games yet. It's so worth getting, you know what I mean? So yeah, it also was the game of the of th year in 2003. That's a good thing, you know what I mean? It's one hell of a game. Just get the goddamn game when you ever see it in a store, and I hope you like it. The game, I'm sure you will like it. You will like this Star Wars game. Well, I know I love the game. Do you want anything from Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. Okay. Why? I want a, one of those, I want a sausage, egg and cheese croissant. Now, last game, 9.3. Mm -hmm. This is, this is uh, KOTOR 2, 9.3. So he went down from 9.6 9.3. Understandable. Not quite as good. Love the game, but not as good as the first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. Not as good as the first. Great game. Tons of fun. Worth every penny you pay. Great game play. It's also cheap. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a must-have Xbox game. You know what I mean? So get the game. If you see it in stores or something, you know what I mean. Just get the game. If you like Star Wars, you well for sure like this game. You know what I mean? It's a long game. But whatever, the graphics are so good in this game. It's one hell of a game. You know what I mean? Just get the goddamn game. I hope you will like it. I want to... Oh, there's also some... Like, I noticed this uh, like a year ago. He has he has a NFL 2K7 reviewed for the xbox 360 for the original xbox and for the ps2 the xbox version has seven stars it is his lowest review by a full point like 1.8 points and his review for the ps2 for the same game is a 10 but the review text is exactly the same <laughs> which one's higher uh the ps2 version yeah <laughs> I remember that, that version was way better. Okay, and 9.5, the the uh, subtitle is Best in Series, or the title is Best in Series, and then the subtitle is Not a Bad Game, that he rated 9.5. For Twisted Metal Black. I think it'd be the Best in Series and also just not bad. Yeah, but he also rated it a 9.5. Great game, tons of fun, hey, worth every penny. Is nine point five not a is is it a bad score? No, no, it's not bad. It's not bad, but that also implies that it's not good. Anyway, great game, tons of fun, worth every penny you pay. You know what I mean? Great game, superb graphics. I mean, good graphics. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not all that long, but what you know what I mean? Ever, it's kind of a hard game, but whatever. It's not all that hard to catch on how to learn how to play this game. You know what I mean? It's kind of it's hard, really, but it's not that hard. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a hard game, but whatever. It's not that hard to catch on. You know, to learn how to play this game. You know what I mean? It's worth playing. So get the game if you ever see it. Some were you most likely you're going to. 
like this game. You must have this game for fans in the series. Great. Um, and so let's... That basically goes on like that. I think I think we will get the picture. I'm going to do one more. Okay. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a more recent review. Um... God of War, solid. Can you turn the camera off? Yeah. Uh, God of War, solid. They did everything right with this game. Oh, wait, no. I thought that was one of the ones that kind of... Oh, he... In 2007, he reviewed the first Resident Evil. Still... Still valid? As a 9.7... Oh my ah. This I like the scariest game ever made, you know what I mean? It's worth playing, you know what I mean? But yeah, an already great game just got better, you know what I mean? It's not all that hard to learn how to play and catch on, you know what I mean? It's one of just like about it is perfect would be if it had the Resident Evil 4 gameplay. And where, where did you want to go from here with Tony Chicago? Because there's so, so much explain more. Explain the UFC thing. Okay, so Tony Chicago has been writing reviews like this for years. Since like 2004. And then all of a sudden, after, after like a long time of not doing anything, in 2007... Oh no, sorry, not in 2007. 2011? Let me, go, let me get to it. Uh... Yeah, so he reviewed something in 2008, which was Metal Gear Solid, Guns of the Patriots, uh, which he said, one of the best games ever. Wow, this game is great in every way, worthy for any Metal Gear fan, so worthy for buying for PS3. Um, And then three years later, in 2011, he reviewed UFC Undisputed 2010. And this is what he wrote. After years and years of reading these reviews, he wrote, Regardless of whether or not you played last year's game, you do well to check out UFC 2010's tutorial mode before jumping into the octagon to do battle with one of the 100 plus, as opposed to the last year's 41, UFC fighters. The mostly intuitive controls are largely unchanged. Your limbs are still mapped to the four face buttons, shoulder buttons are still used for blocking and modifying attacks, and the right analog stick still has a number of different users, uses depending on whether you're fighting standing up, in a clinch, or on the ground. There are several new techniques and strategies for you to master this year, though, and while none of them are compl- complicated, you're better off learning about them in, an, in the impressively thorough tutorial than fight uh, when one of them is used against you. Depending on your play style, the most significant change during the fights is that the octagon itself now comes into play. When your opponent is in a clinch and forces him up against one of the cage walls, it becomes harder for him to defend himself as you gain more leverage for attacks. The walls can also come into It goes on like that. For a couple paragraphs, mm-hmm. and it's, Kyle, this we were losing, we were our, losing fucking our fucking minds. minds. We had we had been following Tony Chicago's career, life, life. Side side note, side note. Yeah, he he has a he has a, a blog on giant on giant bomb on. I had actually encountered Tony Chicago once before before we discovered his reviews. Wow, as a crazy as a crazy blog post because I saw the blog post where he apologized. For lying in his blog and saying that he had gotten his girlfriend pregnant at the age of 13 or 14. Yeah, but he was really a virgin. Because he had made it up because he just wanted to get more followers on... He wanted Game people to think blog. he was cool. Or or something like that. Yeah, it was something, it was something like no, no, he wanted it attention. Like, it wasn't even like they wanted to think he was cool. He just wanted to get attention. Mm-hmm. Like, but, oh my god, this bad thing happened. Pay attention to me. And then he's like, I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Please keep following me. So somebody somebody uh, has a theory, and it's that he could have gone from 14 to 18 between those two years. No, no, no. He went from he went from 16 to 20. For, yeah, 16 to 20. So he was 16 during those You Know What I Mean reviews. Oh. And, it, well, yeah, we were freaking out for the longest, like, we could not get it. For, it must have been over an hour that we were just reading no, it. No, 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 it was not that long. It was, I'm pretty sure. Mm-mm. Are you, pa- are you sure? Yeah. Because we, no, no, because we went back and we read all his other stuff and we, like, went into the blog. It was a few minutes. It was, like, 10, 15 minutes. 
Okay. Well, however long it was, I, I just copied. Remember at some point, I was like, "Do, do we have to accept the possibility that maybe Tony Chicago just like grew up and became kind of a good writer? Is like, is that even possible? Because this was his first review in like two years, three years. Yeah. So it was like, did he just get good somewhere somehow? What? We so eventually, I, I just googled the text from the review. <laughs> yeah, I googled the text from the review, and it linked. To the GameSpot official review, he just copied and pasted it and submitted it. Like, oh man, it's been three years since I posted a GameSpot review. I'm seriously slacking. I do not have time to do this. No, I think it's just because GameSpot requires that user reviews have text and like a certain amount of text. Yeah. So I think he was just like, well, I want to give this a score, but I don't want to write a review, so I'll just copy this. No, you can totally just rate it. No, you can't. You can't? Oh, you can rate it, but you can't submit a review without text like rating of course not that'd be insane yeah i know it's tony chicago (laughs) oh man yeah it was so yeah you have to like to to be able to read those tony chicago blog posts that he deleted because of uh like i guess out of embarrassment you have to go into like the wayback machine oh man like i the amount of times that i've gone to the wayback machine to read tony chicago stuff that he deleted yeah like three or four times wow I remember the one where he just listed all of the bands that he liked in alphabetical order. Yeah. Like ACDC, Aerosmith, something. I don't know, whatever. Just, it just kept going. God going. smack. God, of course he did. Oh, you've got Hitman Blood Money on this one. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, we've still never played Crusader Kings 2. What the fuck is Crusader Kings 2? Dude, it's like a sim where you get to be like a lord in in Europe in like the... Like... You mean Age of Empires? No. Check it out. Do I own this game? No, I own this game. Oh, okay. But I've never played it because I was like, whenever we play it... It, it was on sale one time for the game and all the DLC, and I saw that normally in the game you like... You step into the shoes of a of a person that really existed in history, but this had a DLC where you get to make your own king or whoever the fuck. I thought that sounded more interesting. I don't know how alphabetization does. I don't know how alphabetization works. Crusader Kings. View game something. Game hub. I want to read one last review. His review of the Xbox the version of Shenmue 2. The Dark Ages might be drawing to a close, but Europe is still in turmoil. Petty lords vie against beleaguered kings who struggle to assert control over their fragmented realms. The Pope calls for a crusade to protect the Christians in the Holy Land, even as he refuses to relinquish his control over something, something, something. Oh, I always thought this was like a Mountain Blade thing. No, it's a sim game. Okay. I got, I got one more of these. This is a Shenmue 2 review. I don't know how that felt. I'm sure Apple's is in favor of Crusader Kings. The game has a very good story and caricatures. Cool 3D worlds, but not so good voice actors. Not the best image for an Xbox game. Not too much has been added from when it was on the Dreamcast. One of my favorite games of all time. I seem the game this good on the Xbox... There is over 1,000 characters in this game that have lives just like you and me. This game has an art arcade games in this mode one what side. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is a review for Shenmue 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like real life. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> you can drive a forklift twice. Uh, you can like, drive two forklifts. There, there is over 1,000 characters in this game. Did you know there was lives? a Shenmue 3? No. It only came out in Japan. What? Never knew that. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, lives just like you and me and has a arcade games in this mode outside the game a other fun thing gambling to make some money when you need it the most part-time jobs and more street fight it's worth every penny you pay this game should be online so you can play versus people in arcade games fight people you know what i mean maybe you don't want to but it's fun whatever beating up people in this game but it would look cool if they could make the people a little more human in the game it may take you a long time just to beat the game you might get stoke in a area you know what i mean yeah whatever you may well i did you can get this game for nine dollars i seen it 
used a blockbuster. <sighs> you should buy it. I hope you like it when you play it. What is Shenmue 2 doing at a blockbuster? <laughs> no, nobody there wants that. Um, hold on one second. To be fair, that was that was in 2006. Do you want to take this away from me? Not really. Can you put it over there? Uh oh. I don't even. This power cord is just like. Yeah. I don't know how long this is gonna take. What is it doing? I don't know. It seems to be loading, but I don't. It's not going. I'll be right back. They want backstory about this game. They want to know what this game is. Okay. Do they actually, or are you just saying that they? No. Have... Somebody said, "What's the, so? What this game? So what is this game about?" Give us okay. a backstory. Hold on. He'll be back shortly. What's up, chat? I'll talk with you guys. Am I still too close to the mic right now? Quiet. These guys, they, I think they're still, I think they're just lying about the volumes because they were like, "Keep this too close to the mic," and I was like, I moved a little bit away, and they were like, "No, you're too quiet." I think they're just liars. Oh, you're muted. No. Oh. Kyle had muted me. It was it was an accident. I'm not angry. I'm not angry, god damn it. So what? Uh Hotline Miami. It's an indie game made by what the fuck? Ignore. Ignore, 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 ignore. Okay, fine. Fine, we won't do Steamworks, that's fine. Hey, what the fuck? Sarbala, what are you doing giving me Alright. What is he giving you? He gave me Borderlands 2 season pass. That's nice. I'm not saying no. Nobody's ever bought me a game. People buy you games all the time. Eh, well, stop fishing for... Do I have... Why do I have three gifts? Who... Is, Jesus Christ, Sarbala. What is wrong with you? I'm taking... He really wants to play Borderlands 2 with you, it looks like. I should probably play that. Right now? No. Give me... Give me the... Give me... It's mine! Give me! Ah. Okay. What? Why is he on chat? All right, can you switch over here? Yeah. I can't play. I gotta play Hotline Miami. So Hotline Miami is an indie game made by one person. It's a top-down action game that's pretty unique. It has a really cool soundtrack. Um, it's it just, it's hard to explain why it's so special until you see it, but it's, it's really cool. And uh, I have not seen it. And you, you kind of play as this sort of weird schizophrenic kind of dude who like, uh, he starts getting like these weird voicemails with the, that's why. Uh, hold on, let me, one second while this loads. Yeah, okay, I'm talking. I'm I'm looking at the chat. What do you guys What do you what are you guys doing? 
with uh what's up how much longer is the stream going it's going to 6 p.m eastern standard time which would be 11 p.m uh gmt you don't need this yet because you have a mic on your face yeah i got it uh so we're going for about eight and a half more hours Error messages again. No way. Yeah, what's up with this? Someone's saying uh, we may have to restart to get rid of the errors. No way. Yeah. Do we, is that something we want to do? I don't have like a password or anything, so you can just restart it. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Here, take. Um, these are the ones that I've been using. No, these are the ones that are mine. They're yours, but they're also the ones that I've been using. Well, that's wrong. Well, because we, remember well, we switched at the very beginning? Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Great. Thanks. It's almost midnight. You're in a messed up place if it's almost midnight. Yeah, what kind of, that's, that ain't America. Yeah, you're ten, you're ten hours behind Oh, no, us. here we are. Great, look at that. No problem. Let me take a bite of this muffin before I begin. What Hotline Miami does really well is emulate the kind of loose action movie fights from the 80s action films. These action sequences where the hero feels like he's totally improvising everything. Is that true, Kyle? This is what Thomas yeah, Elliott says. I would, I would say so. That's cool. That sounds fun. Is it... How much, how much is this game like Big Trouble in Little China? I have yet to see Big Trouble in Oh, that movie's really good. So. That movie is almost as awesome as its title. <laughs> Great. So we don't have a save file here, so we'll just start up. Oh, so they just, they just straight up tell you how to, that this is a video game. Um, yeah, this is like a, probably some kind of dream sequence, something. Just don't close anything. Um, so let me see here. What is this weird room you're in? So, what is this nightmare room? Yeah. Thing. So this is kind of like a really weirdly violent game, but it's sort of... You know, people argue this, but I think you could say it's making, like, a commentary about, like, violence in video games, and it's sort of like, why are you, you know... Doing any of why, it? Why are you doing any of it just because someone tells you to, or something like that? Or, like, are you doing it because you're told to, or are you doing it because you want to, and someone's just giving you an excuse? Jeez, okay. Yeah, so there's a couple things here, but like, what's interesting, you can pick up these melee or these guns, and you can right click to throw them, which will like stun an enemy, so you have to like, you start chaining together these kind of crazy things where sometimes you'll be like, ah, oh, throw an enemy to stun them, and then go over and finish them or something like that. Finish them with a space bar. Let's finish them with a space bar. Alright. Is the music not playing? I can't hear the music. Oh right now. no, that's not good. The music is like so important. I can't hear the volume at all. Right now. You must be messed up. Probably. This must be the er the errors we were getting must have been for the soundtrack. That's a big bummer. Oh wait. Oh yeah, game sound is but no music is what people are saying. Yeah, I'm just going to skip this because I feel like the music is pretty key to that scene, so what's the point? Scene key? It's a scene that's also a key? You know what? I'm restarting. I'm going to see if this fixes it. That might seem silly, but... 
the music is a pretty big. You gotta bounce it. I gotta bounce this. I gotta bounce the the system. But uh, so how are you? Me? I'm pretty good. I'm not as tired as I was. I'm like a. I'm like a. Because the sun is up, it's circadian rhythm. Why don't you listen to me when I tell you things? I don't. I have a weird. I have a weird messed up circadian rhythm. Hmm. Um. I'm kind of trained for this because I do it all the time now. Like I stayed up for 24 hours yesterday just because I had to because I had so much stuff to do. Oh wow, that doesn't sound fun. I know that, like. Um, Megan will do that every once in a while. Like, she'll just be up for three days, just because. Like, she's just, like when I first met her, it was she, she after she had been uh, not able to sleep for three nights in a row. I'm not. You can keep that away from me. What is that? I don't know. I'm just you saying. Get right out of town with that business. I'm just, I'm saying that it's nonsense. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. To, yeah. Like, you know what? Quinny would do the same thing. He'd be like, oh, yeah. Like, I'm super tired. Like, why? I haven't slept in three days. Maybe you should. Yeah. I think it's a not being able to. I think it's like a... I guess. That that can't be Courtney's problem, because she can sleep on a dime. She can sleep with her eyes open whenever she wants. What? Yeah. So she's choosing not to sleep. Yeah. Okay, that's not... That's, an, that's another le type of insanity. <laughs> The machine is starting back up. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for it to come back online mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Should be just staying. There we go. I am looking forward to a nap. I'm good to go. You're not going to take right. a nap after this? I'm ready. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll take a nap. I'll go to sleep. I mean, it'll be dark outside when this is over. Someone says still has yet to Keith, think of it. You think we're we you think we've done a lot so far? Mm -hmm. The sun just came up. We have to keep going till the sun is down again. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um oh, that's a what a horrible thought. It was the, there were a, there were a couple rough hours back there that were pretty bad, but I think Sonic uh yeah, Sonic somebody... Racing Transformed kind of brought me out of it. Brought me out of your sleepy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, same with me. Yeah, it totally brought me out of it. And then uh, also Star Fox. Star Fox, yeah. Um, somebody said that the stream has yet to drop below 100 people. It was 99 for like three seconds. Oh, unacceptable. Yeah, so. But now it's 103, so we're good. I'm assuming you don't want to download that illegal, uh, that program that lets you do illegal things, so I'm just going to say no to that. What is this? What is this right here? What is this? Keith, huh? What is this? What's what? Oh, that's a video game? Wh which one? It's a weird one. You can launch it. Oh, Zenith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize that one. That was super weird, right? Yeah. What did you think? It was kind of fun. It was hard. It was, it like, was hard, it right? Was, so, I thought it was really terrible for like 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden, the controls totally like clicked in my head, and then it was a lot of fun. There was one objective I was trying to complete that just took me, like, so long. I just couldn't do it. I just kept trying and trying. And it involved, like, climbing up to the top of a mountain and, like, trying to jump across a bunch of stuff. So I would just fall all the way to the bottom and have to go all the way back up. I don't think I, I played that far. How, how much of it did you play? Not much. A couple hours, maybe. Yeah, I played about that. I think the last thing that I remember doing was, like, uh, I had an objective to, like, climb up to the top of a really tall building. And there were a lot of platforms that I had to jump on. And some, like, wall grinding and stuff.
Do you need the internet to play Hotline Miami? Steam. Right. Yeah. Stupid Steam. Yeah. I'm kidding. I hate. I love Steam. Hmm? X. It's fine. I have to log in again. What kind of garbage is this? It's the kind of where you don't press remember my password. So hopefully we're going to get in here. The music in Hotline Miami is going to work. Everything will be fine. Have you seen Big Picture? Yeah, I played around with it. It seemed really slow. Um, it wasn't slow for me, but it looked oh, awesome. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's just your computer's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Newer. No offense. No, that's... Keats is newer, basically. I think mine was more expensive at the time, but his is a lot newer. I mean, I probably... Since I since I, since I I bought my computer for, like, all the parts were, like, 700 bucks altogether. Really? Yeah. Even the, the graphics card? Yeah. But I basically have replaced almost all the stuff in it besides the hard drive. Like, I oh, haven't... Oh, I thought you meant, like... I thought you meant everything in it now. No, no, no. Like I spent seven hundred dollars at first, right? And then I re I replaced the yeah. I replaced the graphics card. I've doubled the RAM. Yeah, the thing is, it's like I'm getting kind of jealous of like oh, like you know, like Far Cry Three, and I'm like I want to run Far Cry Three like great settings and whatever. But like, thing is, new consoles next year. I can totally wait. Like I don't need a new gaming PC at all. But it's pretty great. Yeah, but. What I would like is a computer that's more powerful for, like, faster encoding, better recording, better streaming, that kind of stuff. So. Man, Holly Miami takes a long time to start up. Jeez. There we go. No errors, no nothing. We're good to go. I can hear the music. We're fine. Uh, let's skip through this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a couple bites of the sandwich. Oh, yeah, go for it. Keith's going to be eating the sandwich. Want me to, I'm going to mute you. Or, yeah, you're fine. Ah! And the other thing it was is explaining is uh, when you have a gun, you can use a, the middle mouse button to lock on their head. So normally I have this targeting reticle, but if I press middle mouse button, it'll snap onto his head so I can do like a, you know, run through the door and like shoot him immediately sort of thing and this just the grossest faces in this game by the way this the horrible bum with this gross snot Ugh. see listen to this shit So 
then you get these phone messages that are like this. And they're like, Hi, this is Tim at the bakery. Those cookies that you order should be, you know, should be delivered by now. You know, it's like, they're all like, uh, you know, these like, they all in code. It's like, hey, come to the dry cleaners and pick up your thing or whatever. But it's always like, or at least your character interprets it as go to this place and kill everyone inside. Wait, so it's not actually telling you to kill the people? Well, it says something like, uh, I don't know, you know, yeah, so it'll, it'll be like, be discreet, or something like that. Can you or, turn, can you turn the, the music audio down from the game? Like, in the game? Uh, sure. Because, like, they're, I turned it down, I turned it way down in X, uh, X split, and there's still, like, it's way too loud. Hold on, let me take a look at it real quick. What was your goof? I, uh, I had the game audio that's only supposed to be for our headphones piping into the stream, so it was getting, like, double audio and one of them was super loud. Uh, okay. I apologize for my goof. Everybody, but let's get in here. Man, I'm on this couch now. I'm gonna stay on this couch. So check out this is pretty cool. We bust through doors like knock nice guys over, and then you can get on them and pick this guy's weapon up. Like running. Oh, see, that's how fast you die. So it's a lot of like trial and error stuff, trying to get down like the the perfect line. The game gets pretty seriously hard by the end. And then, like, each floor is its own, like, section. So now I'm saved at a checkpoint there. Oop. Who are all these violent people? Uh, apparently they're all Russians? Like, Russian gang members or something. You can just throw your bat at dudes? Yeah. It's Let's a see. pretty good tactic. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Someone says the SWAT guys are the worst. Is that true? Oh yeah, SWAT guys are terrible. Yeah, so like... Right now everyone has like melee weapons and then... As you start, if I hold shift, I can look up here. So I'll try to like, uh, and then go, uh. Boom. Nice. Oh, take that guy. Grab a suitcase. And let's get out of here. Yeah, as, whoa, the screen is shaking? Yeah. I think that's supposed to be happening. Oh, because the train shows up. Yeah, as the game goes on, the enemies become more and more well-armed. And it becomes kind of a nightmare. Uh, let me, yep. Yeah. Then you always get in your getaway vehicle. I've always wanted a getaway vehicle, but also have no desire to get away from stuff. 
Oh, really? Yeah, there's nothing I need to... Are you not running from anything in your life? There's nothing I need to get away from. sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... Oh! Oh! Nice. And then he throws up. Because he's disgusted. Uh, let me move this back a bit. I'm getting some kind of... Getting some hurt wrist action on this table. Alright, let's go. Is he disgusted? Just got this super awesome kind of grimy art style going on with all this stuff. It's awesome. Yep. It's like the whole game's like dripping with style. Uh, how do I get out of here? One dude made this? Uh, pretty much. All okay. the music was a collection of artists like we talked about last right. night. But... Um, and then there are these weird interstitials, so you'll go here and, like, talk to this guy. So, I, I'm not sure I want to make too much comment on that, mostly because I'm not even sure what any of this stuff really means, but... On what? On like these kinds of scenes, like they get a lot weirder as the game goes on. I kind of missed what was happening. I was you just walked in, and the guy, the guy behind the counter, said like, "Hey, man, I hadn't seen you around. I was just wondering if something happened to you. Something like grab a snack. It's on the house." That was nice of him. Yeah, so messages like this, like, Hello, it's Linda. I need a babysitter right away. Got a few kids that need to be disciplined here. I'm at East 7th Street. Make sure you have a long talk with them. I really need someone to get through to these rascals. And like last time, please be discreet. That's creepy. Yeah. Tip, enemies are predictable. Did it say that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so this one has no bonus, so an eye for secrets. Apparently, it unveils secrets. I don't really know what those are. I haven't really ever found one. Well, I haven't really ever used this mask, so. I bet there are, like, rooms that you can't see. Maybe. Ugh. The blood went right through that wall. <laughs> so, gun. I could get the gun, but it's so loud, it'll just, like, attract everybody. Oh, there you go. Lock onto him. Oh, wasn't, wasn't fast enough. Oh, 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 shit. Nicely done. Thanks. Uh. Oh. Alright, let's. Let's take a gun and rock and roll. Oh. That is a serious gun. It does not mess around. Yeah. And then every time you finish the level, the music, like, just cuts out really abruptly, and then you're left with this kind of, like, awkward, weird hum. Perhaps to, to let you, uh, think about what you've just done as you survey the carnage on your way out. You monster. Only a hundred for boldness? The grades are pretty tough. Um, so this is the one I usually... I played through most of the game using it. it uses uh, lets you do faster executions. That sounds like a really important thing. Yeah. Oh, 
Punk. We just fucking dude that keeps giving you free stuff. Yeah, right. I don't. I think it's supposed to be a different guy, but I don't know. again, yeah, I don't know. This is a pretty good one. Overdose. Or actually, I think I'm confusing this one with something else. And guns can't be reloaded either, so. Is this a long, like, is this a long game? Uh, no, not, like, particularly. Like, there aren't a ton of levels, but you can get stuck on some of them for a pretty long time. Okay. This knife is amazing, because you can just... Just, just wreck it with that. Destroy people with this. Yeah, or... The, oh. Well. Look at that green SMG. I don't think that's a real gun. I think it's a toy. No, I think that's real. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's not. Whatever. Oh, and you can use the, you can throw the knife just like any other melee weapon, but this, it's a, it's a kill when you throw it. But it uses up the knife. Whoa, I made the exact same mistake. You can just do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Wow, that was. You just effective. Yeah, holy crap. Why is that not a more popular strategy? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey listen, doors are a bitch. Oh, Oh, jeez. There's so many guys down there. Oh, no! Oh! Silence gun. Oh. Bummer. So, yeah, it can kind of go on like this a bit. I like how, it, like... Whoa, what happened up here? Dude, I don't even know. I think I might have... Sh did I shoot one person and, like, went all the way through here and killed both of these guys? Maybe. That'd be awesome. I think that kind of stuff can happen. So a silenced gun obviously doesn't attract anybody, but it's, like, super rare. They just don't mind. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought I was locked on to that guy. You can lock on? I did not lock on. But you can lock on? I can. Yeah. See, Remain like, calm. See how my cursor is free here? Yeah. But if I uh, middle mouse click on this guy, it'll be locked on wherever he goes. So I can just kind of like poke my head in and s snap him. Oh, oh. Oh my god, time is moving so slow. Oh, come on, right? We're having fun playing video games. I was like, I was like super awake, and then I had that sandwich, and now I'm like, ah, oh, sleep. You gotta process those calories, son. Yeah. Uh, let's grab a shotgun for these guys. Fuck these guys. Wait, no, grab a knife. Nope. Okay. You 
fucking 